let's switch gears for a second. LSU, women's basketball. What I didn't realize is your, you call her your niece. Yep. Is actually Flojo? Am I pronouncing the name right? Flage. Flage, sorry. Is actually Flage on LSU's right. female basketball team. Yeah. Now, I guess it's like your cousin's daughter or something like that, but she calls you. Nah, that's Camouflage's daughter, the rapper okay. who got killed. Oh, okay. In Savannah. And he's like your play uncle. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess uh, your mom was telling me before the interview that uh, after your dad died, Boosie reached out and was like, hey, you yeah. know, I, I really feel what you guys are going through and whatever, whatever I could do to help. Yeah, he was. He showed love. Like, even helping me get on the rap game. Like, mm -hmm. posting video on his page, like, Jermaine Dupree, get my niece. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to help me and navigate as much as he could. You know, he got a lot of kids. Like, so for him to even reach his hand out and even take the time to even do that, like, that was like a lot of love. And then he kept, kept, kept. Like, when he didn't have to. He's always been a resource. He's always been help. Like, He's just a good dude, a solid guy. Even with everything he got going on, he took the time out to try to, you know, see what I had and try to support it. So, I he I love Boozy forever. I stick I stick beside him. He <laughs> stick beside him. You know, I was cool with her daddy. So, all through her life, I've been. Okay, so you're not actually technically related to her, but she no. calls you. She called me uncle. Uncle, and you call her. Yeah, she's been playing in my backyard since she was little. Really? Yeah. She raps too, right? Yeah. Didn't like Lil Wayne do something with her or something? Yeah, we just say he's gonna do something with her, so hopefully, you know, but she hard. She been on all kind of TV shows. She been on. Okay. Yeah. I love it. How did it feel to see that little girl who used to play basketball win a championship? Man. Not only win a championship, but in front of LSU. In your me, home university, basically. It made me proud, bro. It got me emotional. It made me proud, bro. Because okay. I saw it. I saw it, bro. I saw it coming. You know, I was on the ass about going to LSU. I just, I'm just happy for her, bro. I'm just happy for her that. And I know her daddy looking down. I'm just happy for her. Mm. And it, just, it was big. You know? After they won, whose music did they play in the locker room? <laughs> you said it all. <laughs> you saw what I was playing, huh? <laughs> yeah. But unfortunately, that win came with a lot of controversy. The whole... You know, this is this is a Tony, you know, John Cena got the credit for it, but the reality is, is that Tony Yayo. Everybody knows. They can't see me dance. We actually Everybody I just had Yayo on the show. Do you know how you know that Yayo? I didn't even know it was Tony. I didn't even know it was Tony Cena then. I swear to God. John, John, John Cena, Cena, whatever. Yeah. I didn't even know. Well, there's a whole story behind this, right? I didn't even know that John was John Cena. Well, John Cena's younger brother was a big Tony Yayo fan. And taught him how to do the dance, and said, "Yo, you should you should do this when you're when you're in the ring." So he started to do it, and it took off. Do you know how Tony Ayo made up that dance? You know the story behind that. When he was on tour, when 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 G Unit was first coming, you know, when Fifty Cent was Get Rich or Die Trying, and G Unit was on fire, he actually had a warrant out for his arrest. So whenever he would perform, he would he did the dance to cover his face. LSU. Oh, yeah, of course. That's the who came out. Shout to Andrew Reese. Shout out to Caitlin Clark. But really, yes. Andrew Reese, she took it to a whole nother level. Right. And John Cena, we got to shout him. Right. Well, in our last interview, what's ironic is that mm -hmm. we talked about the hand dance and how uh -huh. John Cena mentioned that he got it from you. Right. And it was I, like his little brother or something? Yeah, did his, it little, or? his little brother was doing a dance. You know, yeah. I, you know, that was the dance that, I like I tell everybody, TMZ, they asked me and I'm like, it was created because I really was on the run the right. whole time. You were trying to hide your identity. Yeah, I always, I, it was the most exciting time for me because I'm on the run. Um, you know, I'm flying to Brazil. I'm flying to Barcelona as my brother. Um, it was it was crazy. I'm I'm around Eminem. I'm in Detroit. I'm in L.A. The whole time on the run.
So when I'm in the club video, I'm like, yo, this is going to come to an end one day. So I was like, let me just try to at least stay a little low key. Because come on, bro, you're going to eventually have to turn yourself in the bigger we got. He was using his brother's oh, passport okay. to get around, but he knew that he was wanted by the police. Oh, so he okay. was doing that to hide his face. <laughs> that's crazy. Tony Ayo's crazy. So that's where the dance originated from. And even Angel Reese said that, yeah, this is a Tony Ayo dance.